Introducing Sebastemulsion, a new series of custom handmade rolls of 35mm film, coming in a variety of flavours to suit every kind of film photographer. Surfactant, a roll of film that has made it through the perilous cleansing journey of the dishwasher, giving your film a strange psychedelic feel. Bakashi, a roll with mesmerising rainbow bokeh lights, perfect for adding a bit more colour to whatever subject you shoot. Rad Scale, a rad way to paint your world in hues of red, orange and green. Shoot at a low ISO for yellows and greens and a medium ISO for reds and oranges. So you've probably clued on by now with some of the hints that I've been dropping on Instagram. It's been pretty hard not to spill the beans about it all to you. So these are the first four rolls that I've got out at the moment, and at the moment there's only a quantity of four of each type. But further down the line, I'm actually planning to have colour negatives, slide film, black and white, maybe even slide red scale as well. So there's going to be quite a lot of different types that you can choose from to buy from my range of films. So these are the first four rolls that I have at the moment, and I, if you guys like the results, I'm planning to do like a big, huge stockpile of them. And if the results are quite good that you guys are getting, I'm more than happy to keep producing them on a quite a large basis. And if the results you're getting from them are quite good, I'm more than open to constructive criticisms. I want them to be the best possible types of film that you can get. So some of the issues I did have when I was taking the example photos was using the reusable canisters from Van Bar. The problem was the film was winding too tight into the canisters and wouldn't come out of the camera properly. So that's why some of the example photos are a bit overlapped. Um, since then I've started using the recycled canisters from old film rolls and these have worked much better than using the reusable ones. So if you have a couple of issues with some of the film being a bit overlapped and not winding through the camera, um, please let me know and I'm more than happy to offer a bit of a partial refund if the photos come out a bit dud. Because I'm still trying to perfect them at the time and you know, really trying to get it to the best quality possible at the moment. Now, you're probably asking about the price. At the moment, I'm trying to keep them kind of reasonable because I'm pretty much as poor as you guys are. Hey, mate, you got some change for me? You got some change? What about some film, mate? Oi, fuck off! <laughs> Thanks, mate. Oi, oi, oh, fuck you, mate. I just want to earn a living, aren't I? I just want to take some photos. Oh, you're a good bloke, mate. Cheers. Oi, oi, that, that's supposed to help me, mate. Now, because each of the roles of film I'm producing is slightly different in one way or another, I've put them into different categories. So those different categories will depend on what the price is and they'll stay the same for every sort of type of film that I'm making. But if it's something like Slide, it's a bit more expensive, so you might pay a few dollars more. But, it, you know, it sort of depends on the results you're going to get from it. Now specialist films such as the Red Scale, and also I have plan, planning to make like a light lake film as well. Uh, they don't require too much manual work, so I'll be selling them for about $12 a roll. Multiple exposure rolls such as the Quirkus and the Picachi roll will be sold at $14. Chemically altered films such as the Surfactant and other, some other types that I have in mind will be sold at $16 a roll. Now credit is due, but credit is due, and I have quite a few people I want to thank for helping me make this happen. First up, I'd like to thank the editing manager Gary Wong, the owner and operator of Film Never Die. He's supplied a lot of the film stuff and the business ideas, and it's been his constant support that's really pushed this project up and off the ground. So, you reckon if I sell those, one of those rolls for $16, is that going to be alright? You reckon? $16? Bucks. Oh, yeah. I don't think it's going to work next year. Next up, I would like to thank Jake Bright, who originally coined the name Sebastian Mulchin. If, when I was really trying to think of a brand name, he literally just pulled it out of the air and it was perfect. Yeah, the films have come along really well, but I just... I'm just trying to come up with a name for it. What about... Sebastian Mulchin? That is brilliant. I'd also like to thank Dimity Bascaro, who helps me with the labels of the film. She really um, produced the labels exactly the way I had it in mind, and I couldn't have asked her for it to go any better. Although the descriptions I gave are pretty vague, and she 
and had a lot of trouble sort of understanding what the hell I meant, but we did get it there in the end, and I'm really happy with the way it's come out. Yeah, look, can you just move the text a bit to the left? But oh, come on, your job really isn't that hard. Hello? Hello? Ah, oh, buddy, here then. I'd like to thank my housemate and my cousin Adrian who's put up with me putting heaps of rolls of film through the dishwasher and also playing with a hairdryer until the wee hours in the morning. And last but definitely not least, I'd like to thank Jason and Andy from Hillvale who helped us supply a crap load of empty film canisters for my use. Well, I hope you enjoy the results and I really look forward to seeing what you guys can do with my films. And I'll probably have another video up in another couple of weeks or months with some more updates. So thanks for your time.